All right, so what you're going to learn today is you're going to learn the number one ROI strategy working right now with Facebook. You're going to learn the three most important factors to running a successful Facebook ad campaign. And you're going to learn a ninja strategy that combines Facebook and Mr. Shramko's famous own the race course strategy. You guys want to hear what those are and how to get through them? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so the number one Facebook, watch out for that chair. Uh, the number one Facebook ad type that's working right now is, anybody have a guess? Newsfeed, specifically. Link post. Link post ad. Thank you, Ezra, for setting that setting the stage right there, and Justin. So basically, this really is right now working the best. Uh, it's too bad this is being recorded because six months from now, this probably won't be the best strategy. But right now, it, on most occasions, is. Does, is it the only thing we do? No, we do Facebook offers, we do video ads, we ignite just content inside Facebook, lots of stuff. But you wanna 80-20 this and you wanna get going. So my goal at the end of this presentation is for everybody that has a business um, or a service or clients that have a business that they really truly feel that is providing a high quality service or product that they want, uh, they need more people to, to know about, okay? And they wanna get their message out. I want everybody here to, to take action and, and, and leave and, and start running some Facebook ads, even if they suck, okay? But learn, you know, get beat up a little bit and then learn more advanced stuff. And that, so I really want you guys to do that. So the best thing to do is to start with a, uh, a link post ad, which basically all it is 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 copying a link from your landing page or maybe a blog post and pasting that link onto your business Facebook page. Okay, there's, there's really three ways to create one of these. You can do it inside the ad manager. You can do it inside the power editor. You can do it using a third party like Koya. But basically what it is, is it's taking a link, copying it into your Facebook page, an image will pull down, and then you can replace that thumbnail image with a custom image. Okay, and, and the reason why it's called a link post ad is because when somebody clicks that link, it redirects to a landing page. It doesn't pop open a new window, and then you have to click the link to the right of the, of the image. So, okay, so that's really the best type um, that's working right now. Lots of different ways to use those, and we'll go into more in a little bit here. Um, but just that one up there, you'll see this is pretty good. I mean, this is like the best, lowest cost per lead we've ever gotten, but this is 2,800 conversions at 35 cents per conversion and there, there's nobody under the age of 35 years old in that audience. It is 35, yeah, I thought so. Um, so you can, you can do pretty well with these, um, but like I said, that's like a best case scenario, but it's pretty good. Um, so after thousands of campaigns, uh, literally uh, you know, over a million dollars in spend, two billion dollars in impressions, uh, whatever, two million some clicks, and pretty cool campaigns. This is one with Perry Marshall's free book campaign where we're getting 41 cents per lead on the top one, 82 cents per lead on the bottom one. Overall, we typically average around a $3 per lead now with those campaigns, but this was first starting out. And the top one there, that is a custom audience that we're targeting. So it's basically his list, okay? So all those people, he wasn't able to, he'd already emailed his list a few times but those are all people, and over time, even more came through there. But the point is, is you guys gotta be doing custom audience um, Facebook ads. And this is the Infusionsoft, this is just for a two week period of that campaign, where you see a, a 1,400 hits, 1,000 opt-ins, and 205 orders. I got a whole case study on this where we talk about uh, the average cost per lead is around two or three dollars, and the average cost per sale is around seven to twenty dollars or so, depending on the, uh, the targeting group that we're targeting. But that's pretty good, and a lot of other things, you're, you're, that might be a, a typical cost per lead, might be 7 or $8, and that's what it's costing us to get a buyer. So you can do some pretty cool things. So what I'm going to talk about, after all, kind of what we've learned, and we're still learning, which is why we love doing this stuff, because we're learning every day, so um, is, is really kind of three of the most important factors when it comes to being successful on Facebook, okay? Number one is your offer. Number two, targeting. Number three, ad creative ad copy creative. Notice how number one is, it's exactly twice as big, okay? Number one is a 200 point font. Number two and three are 100 point font. So it's twice as big because in my opinion, it's twice as important to that, your offer, okay? What, what do I mean by your offer? What I really mean by your offer is what your hook is, okay? What your lead magnet is, what the reason somebody is either clicking through or the reason why 
that person might be opting in to learn more about whatever, whatever you're offering or, or whatever your client's offering, okay? This is, this is really, really important. So whenever we get a new client, we spend a lot of time, I don't like running any ads until we really, really figure out what, if we have a, I call it a Facebook appropriate offer, because um, I'm, I'm going to get more into really amplifying content and, and going into the own the race course stuff in a minute. So don't worry, right now we're, we're going to be touching on more lead generation stuff. Um, but you've got to really, um, really understand that the, this is really important, okay? It's, it's, it's not, in my opinion, it's not if you can be successful with Facebook. It's if you have the right process in place to be successful, okay? That's, that's what it is. So here's some example offers that work, that we know work, okay? Checklists, cheat sheets, guides, reports, okay? This is my Facebook checklist. Uh, discover eight, the eight most critical things you must do to profit from Facebook. Um, another one over here is you've got the uh, six easy steps to, uh, that allow even a total nobody to leverage traffic from big shots in any market, Ryan Dice. Okay, these are, the reason why these work is my, my opt-in has always been around a 45, 48% lifetime with this offer here. Um, but a lot of the people that, that land on that squeeze page of mine, they've already uh, seen a, a piece of content like a blog post, or maybe I did a Facebook video ad to talk about it, and then they landed on there. It's a re they're retargeting to get to there. So the reason why my opt-in is so high on that is because most of the traffic has already seen me once, okay? Um, a free uh, toolkit or resource list. So free report reveals five tools I use to create all my Facebook ad campaigns. I'm not driving traffic to this right now. I'm not really driving any traffic to my offers right now because I'm in... Uh, really value building mode and, and client management mode. And so we're putting together a funnel right now and what we're doing right now is all about building goodwill. So we're still amplifying and running ads, but it's only to blog posts and content currently. But these, ad, these, these work, okay? Uh, Clay Collins from Lead Pages did a great blog post a while back about his highest converting offer and it was his five free tools that he uses for all of his videos. And I forget what the rest of his headline was, but it's a great landing page um, and it works. So I copied it. Um, same thing, okay, resources. One stock you need to own for the coming no-choice energy revolution. So this is the Motley Fool. These guys know what they're talking about. Supposedly, they're one of the people that really invented this whole basic squeeze um, layout that, that Lead Pages has, has taken in a lot of uh, optimized press. It has lots of templates that we can use um, for this kind of basic squeeze page layout. But the, the thing to point out here is the one stock you need to own. That's a big deal. That works, okay? These guys spend a lot of money on, on driving traffic in all sorts of different media, okay? Free video series, write a book in 2014 and get it published. This is actually a longer form landing page, so below this, there's a lot more data content, okay? They don't get as high opt-in rates here, but they get better sales conversions on the, on, the, on, the long, on the back end, okay? Another video series, Transform Your Running Biomechanics in Seven Days. This is Bobby McGee, Sam, who talked yesterday, his client that we manage campaigns for. Um, but notice the specific, spec I can never say that word. Can anybody say that word? Specificity, specificity, there? Uh, <laughs> specificity, there you go. Where's that hundred, no, okay. Uh, so transfer, your yeah, seven days, so it's very specific, okay? Um, John Lee Dumas, who we help, I helped him get up his ads originally for when he was when he first started doing his uh, podcasting uh, promotion or for his courses. So discover the podcasting secrets, blah blah blah. It's a webinar. Facebook ads are awesome for webinars, but they work even better when somebody has already seen you one time. You've already provided some kind of a value first. Whether maybe it's a checklist that they downloaded, or maybe it's a video that they watched yesterday uh, in the newsfeed or on your blog. Okay. One tip, okay, uh, Robert should recognize this since he's here. All right, so this is a campaign that we're getting started. We've already done some testing on the front end here for this lead gen, um, but we haven't, uh, we're still working out the back end. So in this case, we have a one specific tip. So Robert, what he has is he has a, a basically a $5,000 uh, service. It's couples photography. So he has a service where Couples can go and they can do some really kind of risque photography and it's built to, his service is all about helping people deepen their relationship, okay? But it's expensive and there has to be a, a process that goes into place. So um, we're, uh, what can we do to get high quality leads to get into this process and, and, and eventually come into your, uh, your business and, and pay $5,000? So one specific tip, 
Okay, here's another version of it. We're split testing this. World-renowned expert Helen, Dr. Helen Fisher reveals the real secret of making your partner fall head over heels in love with you all over again. After they opt into this, they land on an optimized press page where they can now get a, a book. Actually, it's called The Monogamy Game. So it's kind of a couple's game that usually goes for $30 or $40. They're going to get that book for free plus $5 shipping or $5 and free shipping, depending on how you want to do it, okay? Then on the next page, then they have a survey, and they go into the funnel, and they're going to get a $500 coupon to come in. They're going to get direct mail, lots of stuff like that. But in Facebook, we've got to get, we've got to figure out a way, especially if you're not creating a lot of content. Some people don't have the team. They don't, they're not yet in that mode to be creating a lot of content. They want to have an, an offer that they know that they can convert and they can drive traffic to. So, um, Free book, free books are awesome, especially if it's a high perceived value. This goes for $17 or $18 on Amazon. So this right here that you're seeing, Perry Marshall's free book funnel, this, this is, has been the cheapest he's ever been able to acquire customers ever. Since he's, even back in the good old days with Google, right now with what we're doing with Facebook ads and his free book funnel, okay? Um, he's really excited. So physical products can work great, as long as it's a, a, an impulse buy, okay? So Mike, this one, it's free. This is another example from the, uh, the Ryan Dice folks. And they're doing a free plus 295 shipping. Great type of offer that can work great with Facebook. But the whole goal here is to get that person into your kind of process, into your system, into your funnel, okay? Has anybody seen this? Yes. All right, raise your hand if you've seen this. Tip of a flat belly, cut down three pounds of your belly every week by simply using this one weird old tip. Who, what? I don't know, actually, lots of different people. Justin probably would know. I mean, yeah, Mike Geary's the guy, that, one of the guys that originally coined it, but tons of different people use a different version of this. You guys want to know why they use it? Because it works, okay? So it works. We're still seeing a different a version of this coming up. Just the other day, I saw a version of this with another company, okay? So notice those landing pages that I was just showing you. A lot of those had a similar kind of theme going, didn't they? Um, they, they had kind of a specific, something that you can really uh, grab onto, okay? One thing, one thing, okay? Notice that's the, also the question that I had for you at the end, right? What's the one thing that really will make you be successful with Facebook, okay? So be specific. So... Try to think about whatever, you're, whatever you really want people to do, okay, which is the square over here, what you want to happen. So think whatever you want to have happen, your really ultimate goal. With Facebook, sometimes you got to think about what can I put in front of that? So what can I add as a stepping stone to, to build instant rapport? Maybe it's a testimonial video. Maybe you don't have to have a super complex funnel, but you have, this is what happens. So for example, I had a client, they had a webinar, that's a $3,000 webinar, and this, the landing page they want to drive traffic to, I, I wasn't excited about. I didn't like it. I didn't think it would convert very well with Facebook. And they're not creating, they weren't creating a lot of content at the time. So I said, do you have any good testimonial videos? Yeah, I got a really good one. Send me that. So he sends me that. We add a little lower third on the bottom of it that says, click the link in this post to register for a webinar. Boom. Didn't have to change anything. It's not, it wasn't my most ideal thing that I wanted to do, but it's something that they had, and it works. The ROI is, is basically two to one, okay? Because when people see that in the newsfeed, they're seeing a testimonial third party. It's not a professional video or anything. Well, it kind of is, but it's just one. It's, just, it's not him at the end of it. There's no transition. It's just a testimonial video, and then we added a lower third on it, and then in the post, we added some copy that said what they're going to learn in the webinar. But that's something, the point is, is what can you add in front? Or, or, or with, with Robert's um, couples photography, we're adding a step there, okay? <laughs>